On today's episode, we're diving into this photo right here. If you have been following along, we just did a bunch of videos of a engagement shoot, and they were live tutorials in the field of this couple right here. So now we're kind of diving into the editing portion of it. So if you haven't seen those videos below in the description, you will find all of those links. Highly recommend you go watch them. A lot of tips, a lot of tricks. So this photo um, was the first day that we shot and it was a little boring. Um, the light was a little boring and it wasn't as um, sun. There was really no sun. It was pretty, pretty cloudy at this point. And I love shooting with sun. So when there's no sun, it's kind of hard. You have to get creative. And uh, so this shot, a lot of people requested we edit this one, kind of go through it because they thought it looked, uh, I guess they thought it looked cool. And uh, yeah, it's a very interesting photo. It does not look as cool as it does here once we reset it. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, let's just do that right now. This is what it looks like raw out of the camera right there. Big difference, huh? So a lot of things are becoming apparent, of course. Like I said in the last editing video I posted last week, the once you reveal the pizzazz of a photo, once you reveal what it looked like before, it's not as cool as it was uh, before you saw it. So so now that you've seen what it looked like before, you're like, yeah, okay, well, hmm, interesting. Not as cool as I thought, but... Again, as a viewer or as a couple or, or somebody who's not going to see the raw original, you you don't have that experience of disappointment, I suppose. Like, oh, wow, that was not as cool as I thought. For some reason, I might have thought this was how it was in the camera. But, of course, reality is that never really happens. So let's dive into this. I'm going to kind of go backwards on this edit just to kind of show what I did for the actual photo that we showed in the tutorial. So I'm going to go to the brushes and kind of show you what I did. There was only two brushes. Oh, I'm sorry. There's five brushes. One here, which um, covered their bodies. This one, which covered probably their fa her face and then his face. As well as up here, which covered the sky. right there and this one was kind of some rock details and bushes so if we were uh, click on this one right here this is the rocks if we uh, click on it you can see of course the red of where I painted over some bushes and then some highlights and spots on rocks that I really wanted to uh, bring out in the photo so if we go over to the settings you can see I pumped up the clarity to 45 saturation I brought it up I find when you push clarity you lose a lot of saturation in, in whatever you're adding clarity to so I usually pump saturation up I took a little shadows out of it and it seems like I cooled it down a little bit as well so yeah pretty simple and uh, if we remove that if we just delete that brush you can see the difference it makes right there it's just to really add some details to the shot, a little more contrast. Uh, up to the sky, you can see where it's it's it wasn't a perfect mask. It was kind of a pretty quick edit. You can see it's obviously not perfect. Take your time if you're going to do this for sure. If we go to the settings on the, the mask for the sky, I pulled it down a lot in the temperature to make it more blue. Of course, you could make it more warm or you could make it really blue. Um, I tried to make it look realistic, so I, I left it right at about here. The tint, I brought it down one. The exposure, I brought it down. That was the main thing I did. I brought the exposure down, obviously, to reveal those clouds that were there in the shot. There was detail there. Luckily, my because we're shooting raw, we could pull that detail back. And I really cranked on the clarity and brought the saturation back up. So without that, again, this is what it looked like. A pretty blown out sky, nothing too exciting. The photo looks good either way, but I I don't know. For, for this photo, I thought it would look cool to bring the sky back. On his face, all we're really doing is uh, pulling highlights down. And that was just because his face was a little blown out. Her face, we were bringing shadows up. And then on the bodies, 
we were bringing a little clarity into that shot or sorry, a little clarity into their bodies and then some saturation back into their clothes, maybe to make them pop a little bit, stand out from the whole photo. So I'm going to reset this photo and we're going to try to get there, get to where we are now from scratch. And it's going to be hard. I'm not, I, I think I started with a preset that I created off of another preset and, and so forth. So we're going to try to create it with redo this without a preset and we're just going to kind of walk along and see if we can do it. Here we go. So the shot is reset. Woo, this is a uh, crazy. I have to start this again. All right, here we go. So I'm going to bring the exposure up just a little bit on them. Throw some shadows in there, some blacks. Not too many though cuz it is a pretty dark photo. Uh the temperature I'm okay with it right about there. Tint, well maybe we'll bring eh don't want to make it too pink. We'll start there. Tone curve, I'm going to make sure that this button right here is clicked. I'm going to just grab the bottom and just kind of pull it up a little bit. And right there, you can see all that does is really just um, adds a little haze to the shot. Yeah, some people like it. Some people don't. No problem if you don't. Just don't do it. So saturation, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab some saturation on uh, maybe the orange and blow it up. There's a lot of orange in this photo, not a lot of green. And uh, the little green that there is, I'm gonna just try to throw up as much as possible. It won't do much, but who knows. We'll go back to hue and um, of the hue of orange, maybe let's make it a little more red. Maybe minus five right about there is good. And sharpening, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm going to go to Profile, Enable, uh, Profile Correction, which basically uh, redistorts the photo or undistorts the photo uh, depending on what lens you use. I find that it, I like it a lot, but I also make sure to bring the vignetting back a little bit. I don't really like zero vignette. I like the natural vignette from the lens. Put some grain in there. And now let's start on our brushes. I'm going to work on the details of the rocks reset our brush and just throw some clarity in there just to see where we are painting. I'm gonna work on right here in this crevice of the rock, on this bush, this bush, and then some other details on the rocks. And then we'll bring that clarity back down, saturation up, Shadows a little bit down. Saturation up a little more. I don't want it to look obvious that it's more orange in the spots that we painted, so we'll bring it down just a little bit. That's good. Grab a new brush. I want to go over these bushes again. And uh, just put saturation in them because I really want them to pop and maybe a little shadows. Something like that. Gonna go ahead and grab a new brush and start working on this sky. This sky is gonna take a little bit of while, you know, it's not gonna be perfect. Um, I highly recommend that you take your time on important masks like this. Computer is running slow. So I'm just running around these edges. And of course we can go back and uh, erase some of that mask we did that accidentally fell onto the rocks up here. Uh, for time's sake, I'm not gonna do it perfect. Y'all get the hint. Auto mask is a nice feature sometimes, it works. Um, I can go back up here and sometimes it'll detect that there's an edge, sometimes not, like it just did right there. It works sometimes. 
So I'm going to bring this down right about there. Grab the temperature. Get some blue back into that sky. Grab clarity. Saturation. Get rid of a little bit of that exposure. Man, right about there. That's good. Yeah, I'm liking that. And so the overall photos, I haven't done any masks on them yet. Um, so maybe we'll just do that real quick. Maybe we'll do one just for the clothes. Add a little saturation. And a little clarity. So back down here in Tone Curve, if we go to Blue, I'm going to create some points. And uh, not go that crazy. I'm going to just start pulling up these highlights for the Blues. Bear with me. Something like that. I'm going to go to green. Same thing. Create a couple points. Pull it up right there in the highlights just a little bit. A little goes a long way. I'm not going to do much for that. Hmm. Not liking that. I'm going to go to reds. Try pulling up some of those highlights. Pulling down the shadows for red. Pull down a little bit. Okay, we're going to go back down to the uh, saturation. I'm going to grab the saturation in yellow. Pull it down a little bit. See if that kind of kills the, the, the yellowness of these rocks. It's a little overwhelming. I'm going to go to Hue now and just see what we can do. If we can just play with these rocks a little bit. Make them maybe a little bit more red like that. Maybe go to the luminance of yellow. Even bring the color brightness of them up just to make them pop a little bit more. Cool. We're going to go back up here to exposure. No, I don't like that. Maybe back to shadows. Pull some shadows back in. Blacks out. Saturation, maybe I'll just throw one. No, I'm actually okay with it. I'm gonna look at it full screen, see what I feel, how I feel about this. It's a little moodier, it's a little more moodier of an edit. And uh, to maybe make it less moody, I guess we could try to just pull these shadows back up a little bit and highlights down. Now you can see why I did that brush on his face in the first edit. It's a little blown out. I'm going to go ahead and put a brush on his face. Grab highlights and pull them down. Uh, we can go down here to saturation of blue as well. Pull it up if we want. We can even change the hue of it. Needs to be believable, of course. <laughs> I'm digging that. You know what? I'm going to call it. This edit's probably going super long already. You guys get the point. Um, yeah, it looks cool. Maybe I'll, I'll throw up a before and after. And uh, tell me below which one you like. Obviously, the first one we used, a, I used a preset. So it probably is better than this edit. And uh, the computer's starting to run real slow recording all this. But that's okay. Hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully you learned something. Again, if you haven't watched the videos of this couple, uh, they're live videos out in the field, shooting photos, shooting tips, all this fun stuff in the field. It's 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 a nice, it's a it's a cool new you know breath of fresh air for for my edits and breath of fresh air for the YouTube guys. Thanks so much. If you haven't already, please click subscribe down below. That helps so much. Also, leave a comment. 
I love responding to all of your comments, negative or positive. I love answering questions. And uh, until next time, thank you so much. I am out.